Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a very short video clip to help remind you about what we did in class today involving line graphing, parabola graphing, any type of minor, you know, learning graphing on our graphing calculator. So remember the very first thing that I taught you to do. Come over with me to the graphing calculator and I want you to select the option, pick the button zoom, and I want you to select option six. Zoom six, as you can see off to the right of your screen, because I've just sort of enlarged the calculator screen for you, Zoom six allows you to start in a standard window. And remember what a standard window is. Let me click on my window setting for you. A standard window the X minimum goes from negative 10, X maximum to positive 10. So as you scan along the X axis from left to right, you're going from negative 10 to positive 10. X SCL, remember, means X scale. So each tick mark counts as one unit. And then notice that the Y min and the Y max and the Y scale are pretty much the same. As I taught you in class today, X res equals one. That that X res just basically has to do with how fast your graph shows up on the graphing calculator, and I'd rather you just not mess with that right now. Okay, let's pretend we want a graph. Uh, let's, let me pick a parabola. Okay, so once we know we've established a standard window by hitting zoom six, we're gonna go back to our graphing calculator and we're going to pick the Y equals button now one thing I want to remind you about, like we talked about in class today, all of these plots where you see plot 1, plot 2, and plot 3, those plots need to be turned off. In other words, they can't be highlighted with a black rectangle around them. If they are, you use your arrow keys to go up to the plots, hit your enter key, and it toggles the plot off. So. When I can look at these plots and see they're not turned on, I know I'm ready to graph. So let me make up a, a parabolic function like we did today. Let's type in the opposite of x squared. I personally like to use, for every exponent, I personally like to use the caret key and then the power. So we have the opposite of x squared minus, let's say, 4x plus 3. One of the things I want you to notice, if you look on the large screen on the right, notice the opposite of sign in front of the x squared is much smaller than the minus sign in front of the 4x. It's very important that you pay attention to the difference between the opposite of and the operation of subtraction. And now when I look at this graph by going to my, let me move my cursor back over here to the right place. And what I want to do, here we go, I want to find the graph button and I push graph. And what that does for me is it gives me a very nice picture of my parabola. Notice that the parabola opens down which we knew because the leading coefficient was a negative one. Whenever a is less than zero, the parabola opens down. This lets you know that the vertex, which is the high point on your graph, is where a maximum value will occur. The y-coordinate of the vertex is the maximum. And these are issues that we'll review later.